All right, y'all, so we are back. If you just saw my other video where we were talking about, where we went over the Ready Player One trailer, the official Ready Player One trailer, it turns out that it is official. I wasn't sure in that video. I literally got sent the trailer, looked at it, and was like, boom, let's check this out. And I had to let y'all know what I saw a ASAP. But now I literally just got through with that video and I started researching immediately. And we're about to, we're, it's legit, bro. It is legit and it's not looking good for Vivi. But nah, nah, I mean, uh, I don't know, bro. But I'm just gonna give you all the information and we're going to, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what we think as a collective. How about that? So yeah, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because it's about to get wild in Web3, this boy run, baby. But yeah, we finna go over a lot of this stuff that I found. So we finna check out some articles. This is not gonna be like some officially formatted all put together. We're gonna be digging through uh, basically all the information that I could find out there about this project so far. So as you can see here, Ready Player One creator, creator debuts open a metaverse battle royale experience. So this is potentially just a game, which, which could save things if it's not a metaverse. But yeah. I mean, it's about if it's just a battle royale. So yeah. Earlier this year, Readyverse Studios, co-founded by blockchain tech company Futureverse and Ernest Klein, the mind behind the sci-fi franchise Ready Player One, announced the Readyverse, an interactive platform for metaverse games and experiences. Readyverse Studios partnered. Readyverse Studios partnered with Warner Bros. Discovery to help bring the popular novel to the metaverse across Web3. Um, WBD distributed the 2018 film ad adaptation directed by Steven Spielberg. Um, today, the studio introduced its first project set to launch soon, The Readyverse. Open is a third-person battle royale experience in which players compete against each other in a game show styled multi-round collaborative modes using various gaming techniques such as shooting, Bro, why they describing gaming? What? Why they describe as gaming so weird, bro? You shoot people. It's you. It's a shooter. Like you know what a shooter is? They say various gaming techniques such as shooting, tactical positioning, and driving. Like, bro, why? Why they talking like this, bro? Who wrote this? I feel like they had this written by AI. Like, who, what human actually talks about gaming like that, bro? This is insane. But anyway, oh yeah, it might it might be a little bit off for of y'all, uh, yeah, because I got this kind of tweaking with the little overlay and stuff. But yeah, y'all, y'all, I'll get the picture. Anyway, Readyverse Studios founder debuted open in a trailer today during the South by Southwest festival. Of course, the, of course, the new experience features a Ready Player One biome where players can explore environments, get skins inspired by the novel, and compete against each other. In addition, Open has other biomes with recognizable characters from iconic IP. In the trailer, viewers see Ready Player One protagonist Wade Watts, um, Parzival, um, walking past nostalgic products like DeLorean, a DeLorean car, and a vintage television, and a video game console. Um, for those who aren't familiar with Klein's work, Ready Player One is set in 2045 when the planet is on the verge of collapse. As a mental escape, the majority of human population uses a virtual reality simulation called Oasis. When the creator of the simulation dies, a message gets sent out to users that the first person to discover a digital Easter egg gets ownership of the Oasis. Watts, a teenage orphan and vivid and avid player, enters the contest where he goes up against evil corporate corporate employees who work for a greedy CEO who wants to control and monetize the Oasis with intrusive online advertising. So, yeah. Let's see. Ready Player One Studio says, Open is the first AAA quality metaverse experience interoperable with AAA IP that leverages Web3 technology. And it's named after the principles that the Readyverse um, leverages, such as assist interoperability, digital ownership, decentralization, and security. A good portion of that technology is thanks to Futureverse, a platform of 11 companies like gaming studios and blockchain startups. Um, and then they also say Open was also developed with Walker Labs, a video game and next-gen web tech developer that released an open-world multiplayer shooter and adventure called Walker World in 2022. Open is currently being developed for PC. Um, interested players can sign up for early access starting today. So Walker World, we're gonna have to dig into that. I'm gonna, I want to dig into Walker World. Let me see. Actually, we can look at that right now. Let's see what's going on in Walker World. 
Let's see if we, I mean, this looks trash. But, I mean, she does. Like, actually, the other ones is not that horrible. But let's see if we can see some gameplay or something on this. So we can see what type of quality we may be working with. It looks official, though. It looks it looks real official. Let's go here. Let's go to that YouTube channel. If it's going to be gameplay anyway, that ga anywhere, that gameplay should be on here. Um, Let's see. Two months ago. Walker World gameplay. So, look at this. It looks like uh. So if they got Walker World doing it for them. Okay, okay, we got a little bit of gameplay footage right here. Mm, clean, it's clean. Yeah, it's clean. It's not crazy, but it's not horrible. I mean. It's not it's not crazy good or anything like that, but it's not horrible. And it's very good for web three. Let's 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 up the quality, see if that makes a difference. Let's up the quality a little bit. Uh not so much. It's 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 just like you know, it's like standard. It's like standard. It's pretty good. Um anyway. So that's what Walker is working with. I mean, it looks like they got some heavy hitters in the space. It looks like Steven Spielberg confirms his um involvement in Ready Player One sequel. Um, so I guess there's another Ready Player One coming after years of uncertainty. Let me see. A sequel as producer based on the novel. So I guess this is actually about a movie. So yeah, this is this is a this is about the status of a movie. But Steven Spielberg is involved with Ready Player One once again. So yeah, that was some news. Um and then whatever the new movie is going to be about. It's probably going to promote Ready Player One in this dream more so across the Web3 space. So I don't know where that leaves Vivi at this point in time. That's that's the only issue with this is that it's like, where does where is Vivi left with this company coming out here and just, you know, killing shit? Um, yeah, so this is Ready Player Two. This is this is about the movie, I guess. Look at this. This is about the Oasis. Um, yeah, let's see what else we got here. So yeah, I looked at some more articles. They they have a press section on their little website here. So this is their official website. It shows their press section. So I went to Coin Telegraph and I, I wanted to check out the Forbes one to see what they got going on here. Cause I want I want to know if they got some type of crypto or some type of token affiliated. So I haven't read the article yet. I just figured I'd check um here to see what's up. Um, but yeah, the developers of Open could bring um the world one step closer to bringing the Ready Player One experience to reality. Um, the new game was developed in con concert with w Walker Labs, creator of 2022's open world shooter, Walker World. It's the first major gaming title developed for Klein's Readyverse. According to the game's website, it'll feature multiple genres, intellectual properties, and environments. Um, let's see. Different formats for simple stuff. Okay, um, as Cointelegraph reported in January 2024, Ready First will not only bring iconic assets, environments, and gameplay from the Ready Player One fiction franchise, it will also tap into Warner Bros. IPs as well. This is evidence, um, this is evidenced in the newly launched trailer. Despite being only 60 seconds long, astute, astute viewers will notice a Nintendo Entertainment System, an Atari, um, a DMC DeLorean apparently um, kited out as the time machine from Back to the Future and a giant robot that could be related to the Ready Player One world, though it doesn't appear to be the Iron Giant or Gundam from the film. It's also possible the robot could be Jaeger from Warner Bros. Um, there was also an ornate bronze colored key stuffed frog in the background at the video's beginning and end respectively, but Cointelegram Graph didn't immediately recognize them. While no gameplay has been shown yet, Open was announced as a third-person battle royale. This implies it'll have functionality similar to popular shooters with Call of Duty, Warzone, and Fortnite being the closest popular examples. The Readyverse will reportedly um, champion the principles of the Open Metaverse. According to previous statements, this includes security, decentralization, and digital ownership. This could indicate that players will be able to move to move characters and gaming assets from one environment to another with non-fungible token-like um, meta market activities um, possible. So this is 
is this is official. This is a, this is the official Ready Player One. This this definitely is. <laughs> This is the official Ready Player One, y'all. And yeah, let me know how you all feel about this. Let me know what y'all think. Because it's not looking too hot for Vivi right now. Um, they're they're doing it big. They're already talking about interoperability. Like they're talking about all they're, they're coming into the space and respecting the Web3. They're, they're respecting the Web3 rules and genre. And it's more than just a dream. Like I like David and Dan are are well, David, David for sure is like a visionary. He's a dreamer and all of that but at the end of the day it takes a lot to move a dream from just being a dream and being a reality and yeah in a reality um i like i feel like i, I like david so it's kind of harsh the, the way that i hear people talk like oh he's incompetent as a ceo well not incompetent but he's not the ceo for the task but at the end of the day it is different between being able to talk your way into ip and and actually talking your securing some ip and opening a uh, uh a card shop or a, a comic shop and uh, like opening toy shops and stuff like that. That's it's a whole different ball game than getting in this web three space and doing all of this and getting the right team, getting the right partners in place. And we know that VV doesn't choose the right partners. Ecomi does not choose the right partners quite frequently and they do everything for the cheap. They're trying to go the cheap route with all of this stuff. And it's probably because these licenses and IPs charge them so much money. So the same thing that's, that's making them is the same thing breaking them. They got to pay so much money to the licensors. They got to be cheap when it comes down to advancing their own company. So they're still moving at sm snail and turtle speeds right now. And look, as you can see, this is evidence that their competition is not playing. Their competition is not going to be out here, you know, soon and, and not delivering. They they come out, they release, and it's, it's a bunch of big dogs. It's a bunch of heavy hitters. So. Yeah, let's read Forbes. What Forbes got to say about it? Let's see if they got any different information in this article. Um, Readyverse Studios debuted his trailer. Okay, we heard that already. Um, this company said Open would be the hero experience. In the Readyverse, the company's name for its version of the immersive multi-genre platform for many kinds of experiences and Envision and Clients 2011 best-selling book. Readyverse Studios developed Open with Walker Labs blending game and web technologies. In a release, the company's called Open a multi-biome, multi-IP, multi-mode battle royale experience interoperable with globally recognized IP that will set the stage for the future of gaming. So, I mean, hopefully the best we can hope for is that Vivi's assets are able to be moved over and utilized within this world in some capacity. That's what it looks like Vivi's place is going to have to be. It's going to have to go to projects like this who's actually capable of delivering because it was one thing. They, they're not going to even be able to compete with this. I don't believe Vivi is going to be able to make something that competes with this, but they're definitely not going to be able to compete with Ready or with, um, with Fortnite and what they have, what they're working on with Disney. Like, Vivi cannot take these heavy hitters on. They, they just can't. And it's more of these guys popping up. Like, this is the official Ready Player One team. Like, it's like, who gonna who gonna do a better job than them? Like, who who seriously who gonna do a better job than them? And then they're already working on Ready Player One, so anything that you make is automatically a ripoff by default. It's like you can't make the first official Ready Player One because they're making the the real official Ready Player One. So that's going to be respected over you instantly, no matter if you're the one with the IP. I think VV is looking like VV is. Just that going to, could potentially just become that thing with the IP. This is where all the IP comes from. And that's good. Like, if, if Vivi is the supplier for all the IP across Web3, that would be massive for Vivi. But why why would these companies need a middleman? Like, like Vivi, I, and that's the thing that scares me. Vivi could potentially have been a great test start for a lot of these people entering Web3. But the same way DC went on and did its own thing, I feel like all these companies could just make their own stuff interoperable and you you could they could make it so it can go into any metaverse anywhere that way it ups the value for for them and it's like why why have a middleman in there why have vivi in there at all so yeah this, this is like this type of stuff kind of changes the way that i think and the way that i see things i don't get it twisted i think that vivi is going to have its place vivi is going to have some value but it's hard to see the value being as valuable when everything is going wrong. Like, and they're, they're not delivering. Their exchanges are, are not great. Um, 
things going wrong with the exchanges. Their their Ready Player One dreams is just been crushed. Disney is partnering with Fortnite, and there's no confirmation that Vivi is involved with that. It's like, what can Vivi actually do in this space of everyone delivering except for them? But yeah, there we have it. That's just some of my thoughts and, and perspectives on things. This is official. This is big. And this is very, very massive. Let me know what you all think and how you all feel about it. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.